All right, what we've got behind me is a custom built platform boom that is manufactured by Visser and it's being controlled by Damatex. If you see behind me, I don't know how clear they are, but there's actually um, four different orange flags behind me. Each of those flags uh, represent the beginning and end of a new irrigation zone. Uh, there's also two flags behind the camera, so this bay has currently six different irrigation zones um, within it. Uh, what that allows me to do is basically grow six different crops in this, in this bay and um, irrigate, irrigate those six different crops differently. The first bay um, begins at that back wall and ends um, at the first orange flag. The second bay um, is from that orange flag to the next, etc. Um, so if you look closer at this graphical display on my I iPad, um, you'll see those six different zones uh, graphically on Damatex's control system. All right, so currently you can see the six different EC5s that are controlling the six different irrigation zones. None of those EC5s are currently calling for an irrigation, but what we're gonna do to simulate an irrigation is just pull those EC5s um, out into the air and that will cause the boom to think that uh, the crop needs irrigated. So you should see that um, set point raise a little bit on those EC5s. And when you do that, you'll see now that the boom is beginning to irrigate that first zone which started at that back wall and will end um, at the first orange flag. Um, as you can see, the first zone um, is being irrigated at a very quick speed, at 100% speed, uh, with the uh, real heavy coarse irrigation nozzles. And what you'll see once um, this boom begins to irrigate that second zone here shortly is that it will slow down its speed. Um, it just began doing that, slow down its speed to about 35% and it is now irrigating with a real fine mist. Um, so what's, what's pretty cool is you can you know, change your uh, irrigation speeds, nozzle types um, to you know, incorporate it for each different zone. Um, so what you'll see um, is it's obviously irrigating at a pretty slow speed here for that second zone. Um, and once it reaches the end of that second zone, it will begin to irrigate a zone on the right side that we've also pulled a probe for. Um, this boom is pretty flexible uh, with Damatex control system. It allows me to set um, up to, I believe, 200 different zones in this bay, which is way overkill, but I have the ability to do that if I'd like. I currently have six zones set right now. And I can also, you know, change the length of those zones, the size of those zones to incorporate uh, whatever kind of crop I might have in these bays. This is a custom built boom, um, like I said before by Visser, it's the only of its kind. What you'll see now is uh, the boom is about to finish the fine mist irrigation on that zone on the left side. And once it finishes that irrigation, like I said before, it's gonna begin to irrigate the left side um, at I think about a 50% speed uh, with a real coarse watering, which is a different nozzle type. So you just get a lot of different flexibility with this boom. You're able to change your speeds, able to change, like I said, your nozzle types. Uh, it comes with a dosatron built in, so you can um, apply pesticides, any sort of chemical that you might, you might need to apply to your crop. Like I said before, it is a platform boom, so it is strong enough for an individual to stand on. Uh, we've designed it to be tall enough, high enough to um, hang, uh, hang baskets above our crops, hanging baskets, um, which is why it's currently so high off the, high off the ground. I can't obviously um, move that, um, those irrigation nozzles lower to be closer to the crop, just haven't done so yet. Um, the boom has almost reached the end of uh, that current bay. 
you'll see it's just stopped irrigating. And once it sits there for idly for about five seconds, it'll begin to move to um, its idle position so that it's out of your way, which is what it's doing right now. So it's a pretty intelligent boom. We love it so far. Offers a lot of flexibility um, as far as what kind of crops and how we can grow our crops just within this one bay. Thank you.